Focus your attention on the breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. Try to stay here continually, because you're trying to learn how to observe your own mind. And the problem with the mind is that it jumps around. And when it jumps from one spot to another spot, it tends to black out a little bit. And so our knowledge is in bits and pieces. And here it is, something that's really close to us, what our own mind is doing, and yet it's a mystery to us. Sometimes people ask people, why did you do something? And they have to stop and think for a while, what was the motivation? And it's some, all too often it's not very clear. It's because they weren't fully there. They're phoning it in. But you have to realize your actions are the things that shape your life, so you want to be there while they're happening, while the choices are being made, so you can influence the choices in the good direction. This requires a continual kind of awareness. So we practice that with the breath, all the way in, all the way out, and all the way through the different spaces between in and out. Don't let there be any gaps. This way when the mind does something, then you can see where does the influence go. Because we can see things happening without knowing the results, or we can see results coming up, but we don't know where they came from. That doesn't help us much. You have to see the connections. It's like connect the dots. Our awareness is in little dots here and there, and you can draw all kinds of lines to connect them in almost any way you want. It's much better if you have a real sketch to see, well, it's not just dots here and there. They're actual lines, and you've been able to follow them. So develop the skill of staying with the breath, not wandering off. If, it, if your thoughts do wander off, you don't have to follow them. We're all too interested in our thoughts. We talk with them all the time. As the Buddha said, we have craving as our companion. Wherever we go, our cravings talk to us, and we talk to them. And they lead us around by the nose, because we don't know what's going on, but we know in bits and pieces. It's like watching a TV show. You walk into the room and something's happening, and then you walk out of the room for ten minutes and you come back something else is happening. And you can TV shows sometimes you can guess what happened in between. But you don't really know. And here this is your own mind. You don't want your mind to be a mystery. Because when the mind is a mystery, then that's why we cause ourselves suffering. So to put an end to that suffering, you have to be aware. So this practice of staying with the breath, making it comfortable so that it's a good place to stay. You can experiment with long breathing, short breathing, fast, slow, heavy, light, deep, shallow. Find a way of breathing that feels really good and refreshing for the body. And then try to maintain that sense of refreshment as you go through the day. This way there'll be more continuity in your awareness, more continuity, con continuity in your knowledge. And your guesswork turn into actual knowledge, because you th see things happening, you see connections. So it's a simple skill, but it's basic to everything else. So you use your mindfulness to remember, and your alertness to be aware of what's going on, especially what you're doing right now. Put those two qualities together, and do them as best you can. It's only when you do things as best you can that they're going to grow. <laughs>